When you build a course in Storyline, you can attach resources to your player, which is what we see here in this published course. I've got this little button up here in the upper right called Resources, and when I click on it, I see a bunch of helpful things. There's some URLs, a couple of file attachments. The Resources feature is super helpful if you want to provide learners with maybe some supplemental content like job aids or helpful links. Um, a lot of times it's also great if your SMEs keep wanting to add more stuff to your course, but you really don't want to clutter up your actual uh, slide content. You can tuck things here into the resources and that way everybody's happy, right? The SMEs are happy because it's in there, but the learners, uh, you know, they can get to the content if they need it, but it's not going to get in the way of their learning experience if they don't need it. So to add resources to your player and Articulate Storyline, you'll want to come up to the Home tab and then click on the Player button over here at the right. And when the Player Properties Manager appears, you're going to be on the Features section of this window. And the first thing we need to do is make sure that this Resources item right here in the list of Player tabs is marked, because otherwise it's not going to show up on the player. And then, of course, once it is marked, you'll see it appear here in the preview. And if you don't like where it's appearing, you can use these buttons in the lower right of the Player tabs list to move it. So if I wanted to maybe click this down arrow, that would move my resources to the top bar right. And now the preview changes to reflect that choice. And the way that you actually add items to the tab is to come up here and click on the Resources button at the top. And one of the things that you can customize here is the description of the resources that appears at the top of your list. That's what this first field here is for. And when you publish your course, that's what's going to appear right here at the very top of the list of resources when learners click on the button. So it's kind of nice that you can customize that if you want. You can enter whatever text you want there. And then you can get busy adding the actual items. So when you first come here, uh, this box is going to be blank like it is now. And you can just click in it to start adding some stuff. Or you can also click on this little Add button down here at the bottom. Either way, uh, this little Add Resources window is going to pop up. And this is where we can uh, first enter a title for the item that we're adding. So this one, we're going to add a URL. I'm going to call it Effective meetings.com is the name of it and then you select whether the attachment or the resource is going to be a URL or a file so in this case it's a URL and in this field you just paste in the web address of the URL that you want to add and if you want you can click the test button if you just want to make sure that it's you know going to open the way that you expect and then click save and you're done now the other type of resources or a resource that you can add is a file so let's go ahead and do that too we'll click on this add button again and for file, we're going to call this Blank Action Planner. And we're going to select File. And now we can click the Browse button and go find the file that we want to add. And mine is right here. It's this Word document. So we'll go ahead and add that. And then we click Save. And that part is done. Now what happens for a file is when uh, Storyline publishes your course, it actually bundles a copy of that file right within your published output, which is really nice. It just means that it's going to be accessible to the learner um, you know, regardless of uh, where they're viewing the course from. It's going to be right within the published output. But keep in mind that whatever type of file you attach, learners are going to need to have the appropriate software in order to view that file. Like if you attach a Word document like we just did, your learners will need to have software that's capable of opening or viewing a Word file in order for that attachment to work. Now another really cool thing about attachments is that you can rearrange things here in this list, which is really helpful, especially if you've got a long list of um, resources that you want to add to your course. So these little um, blue arrows down here at the bottom again let you move any item up and down. Like in this case, if I wanted my action planner, oops, if I wanted my action planner to uh, appear first in the list, I could select it and then hit this blue up arrow and the items rearrange themselves and even the preview over here rearranges to reflect the choice that I made. Now another pretty neat tip is that any of the built-in tabs in Storyline that you can add to your player, that would be the Resources tab, which is what we've been working with, but also the Menu, the Glossary, or the Notes tabs, these can be turned off for individual slides if you want to. You don't need to display them throughout the entire course if you prefer not to. Like maybe if you have a quiz and on your quiz slides you don't want learners to be digging around in your resources, you can turn it off for just the quiz slides if you want to. And the way that you do that is in the storyline if you, um, let me just open up my layers here. On the base layer of any slide, you can click on the properties icon. That's going to bring up this window. And right here where it says player features, you can change player defaults to custom for the selected slide. And here's where you can turn off any item that you don't want to appear for that particular slide. So that's kind of a nice option um, to customize the way your learners experience your content.